Uh, Derek Brown from Rothwell didn't have the greatest of starts to life. He was born prematurely, weighing just over two pounds, after his mother had drunk a bottle of gin in an attempt to abort him. Now, because of this, he was born with a hole in his heart and eight fused toes, and Derek is uh, also hearing impaired and suffers from a curvature of the spine. But rather than feeling sorry for himself like you or I probably would, Derek has instead devoted his entire life to fundraising and is six months away from his biggest challenge yet. Uh, from being about 12 years old, I've raised money for a number of charities. And in the last 13 years alone, I've raised nearly £600,000. Yes, yeah, it's, it's incredible what you have done. And just give us a sense of how you've raised that money. Well, over the years, I've done a number of marathons. I've done parachute jump, bungee jumps. I've raised money for Tommy, the baby charity, Children in Need, Child Line. Last year, I did what I thought was remarkable. I walked from Lee to Plymouth and back, 726.9 miles. Two days after, did the Great North Run. You're joking. Really? Seriously, two days after I did the Great North Run, they ticked two thousand two hundred and seventy six pound and got on to calendar and straight after that came up with a plan to walk the length of the country twice. So you're not gonna stop, are you? Well I have said that it could be the last walk. I said that last time as well, so right. never say never say never. No, because I wonder if you won't ever stop because you are masking the anger that you feel towards your mother and maybe if you do stop you have to stop and think about it would that be fair to say well i always think when i say i'll stop i, I think I'll, there'll be always something in line uh one thing i've been looking at at the moment is joining the rotary clubs i've been thinking about uh holly bank trust up at mayfield there's lots of different avenues so it might not be another long walk, but I wouldn't say the end of fundraising. No, you're going to can continue to fundraise for forever, it sounds like. So this 1,853-mile charity walk, how can people support you? Well, this is a walk from Leeds City Centre, from Millennium Square on the 4th of July. I'm going to walk through to Ripon and up to John O'Groat, turn around and walk straight down to Land End, and then back to Leeds again in 83 days, an average of 22.3 miles a day. Oh, my God. All right, have you got a website? Yeah, the website is fantastic. It's uk. That's D-E-I-E-K-S-C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E-S. -E 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 uk. Fantastic website, made donated to me. Be sponsored by Pound World, so that's really ended well to get some companies behind me. will be fantastic. I've raised £11,200 nearly already. So we're going in the right direction, and I'm going to do it for Forge UK Charities. Well, good for you. That's Derek Brown, and the website is derekschallenges.org.uk. It's BBC Radio Leeds.